Um, one of the things that I really just had to say concerning this is because I get a lot of people that come up to me and say, Sharon, why do you even work? Why do you even... And I'm just thinking to myself, so... I went to school. I have a BSc. I have a master's degree and I have a brain. But I shouldn't do anything because my father is wealthy. That's the spirit, girl. Guys, if... Sharon Adeleke, Davido's elder sister, popularly known as Life of Rona, go fi get up every day. They walk at a house like say or more she come from a poor family or from a poor background. Who can be Sophia Momondu when go depend they entitled to Davido's world? It's called child support, not ex-girlfriend support, my people. Just like waiting Sharon Adeleke talk say she went to school. She have a BSc, she have master's degree, she have brain. So because her father is a billionaire, she should not work. Like seriously, talk less of say, no be say Sophia Momodu na David Opikio or na ex-wife. This one her ex-girlfriend. This thing when Sophia Momodu they drag the video over now. Now child support that they call them all. No be ex support. Anyway, since she says she's ready to spill out everything, make she can't let us know truly when did the video stop taking responsibilities of his daughter Imade? Because as it is now, my people, we believe say there are more to the things when it be say we we the online in-laws know. Make Sophia Momodu just cut up the crap. Like make she just come out. Can't really tell us waiting they go on. May she stop beating around the bush so that the narrative when online in-laws get towards her, if not to even they support they join her, everybody go know. Because to we, to our own little understanding, for waiting we don't seek for social media, Davido is not a deadbeat father. Davido has been has been present in the life of all his kids. Yes, Davido they take full responsibility. Once upon a time, Sophia Momodu was always hailing Davido. Even one interview when Sophia Momodu grant, it's not even up to two years, when Sophia said yes, Though the relationship didn't lead to marriage, but she's grateful that her daughter Imade have the best father in the world. So, what are we not saying? Is it because Davido finally got married to Chioma, or what is her pain? Why all this social media dragging over the father of your daughter? Because maybe one thing led to the other. We don't know what happened, but I believe say Sophia Momodu they overreact. Sorry to say. Anyway, guys, Sharon Adeleke don't react. Say. If she has a daughter of billionaire, she goes to school, she gets master's degree, she gets BSc, she gets brain. If she feed they get up every morning, they walk. Why Sophia Momodu not follow her footstep? See guys, uh, Sharon Adeleke works very hard. Business upon business. She's so creative, always thinking of next product to launch. See, the platform when David will give Sophia Momodu for a very long time, supposing Sophia Momodu build name, like if she built brand for herself, she really faced and focused on her brand. We believe, say, by now, she for not even day bothered whether David will even send child support to his daughter, Imade. Not be person be Tonto DK. Now, person be Tonto DK now. See, guys, even this uh, Sandra in Yuwa, who be Franklin, ex baby mama or ex wife, I don't know whether they got married that time or not. This a uh, US based lady, but she's in Nigeria. She even let us know, say, oh, more waiting Sophia Momondu just they do now. She no support them at all, though she they always support women, but she don't support support nonsense and if they even they make people they feel say Sophia Momodu like this and she's very irresponsible anyway according to the write-up first of all being a baby mama doesn't mean you should be entitled to your baby's father money the only responsibility he has is towards your child and it's also your responsibility to take care of your own child as well. It should be and it shouldn't be an avenue for you to make money or be taken care of. Now, if your baby father is a deadbeat, you can call him out with your full chest. If you can do it every AK market day. That will be awesome too. Financial abuse doesn't apply to baby mamas, especially 
when the baby daddy is present and doing what he should do for that for his own child unless he stops taking care of his child most married women experience financial abuse from their spouse it's like a shame for them to stay in the useless marriage and have no means to live if you have a baby mama and your baby daddy is taking care of your child, be grateful, but not taking care of you and you are ranting. Financial abuse, madam, go and work and take care of yourself and your bills. I support women, but I don't support nonsense. When I hear waiting Sandra talk, even to the extent, Davido elder brother, Adewale can't even still write, say, oh, Mo, I'm unavailable. People are so disappointed at Sophia Momodu because the way she's so entitled to Davido's wealth, as if they were, were once married. These are the things when online in-laws, they feel, say, now make makes Sophia Momodu not feel move on with in life. You know, feel move on with her life, focus on her career or build a brand or even make she even go, get married. She was so busy enjoying Davido's those wealth she not even still use sense to save for herself even if Sophia Momodu take care of her daughter Imade for one year not be bad thing after all Sophia Momodu don't still don't still try she they let us know say she be unbothered anti vibe like she is rich she they fly up and down with her best friend Tiwa Savage why all these things like the thing so pissed everyone up today for social media. We had Sharon Adeleke come out, come react. If Sharon Adeleke, the daughter of a billionaire, like I talk, they wake up every morning. They also, they won't put food for her table. They won't, they won't make money for herself for the future so that she and her children go enjoy. Why Sophia Momo do not go feed the same? Baby mama not be professional. If your skin not full, not poor body, Davido has been nice. Davido is a generous guy. He don't, he don't already make us feel say yes, he's a good father. When they see how Davido, they take care of his children, even publicly, even on their birthday, no matter how busy Davido's schedules are, it goes to create time to make sure say he did there for them. So why all these things? Sophia, my mom, do they when they say, don't you dare cap or I'ma set it all on fire. We are ready to know so that we go know where to support you. If actually, David don't stop the child support when they give him a day and waiting go cost some, like what led to it? Because David, when we all know, not get that kind of heart. Sandra, he was say, I don't know why anyone will feel entitled to another person's money, especially when you are not even a wife. If my son's father was taking care of my son, he said she wouldn't have, she would be very grateful and she will never rant because you will never catch me rant about him not taking care of me. It will never happen as long as I'm alive and well. How you go come out, they give David a guideline. How you go take, give you the money according to our popular blogger Q2Ju say, Sophia Momodu. Don't let David don't know, say go give her money to start business. Now so he go go rent house for her for Victoria Island. Like I don't understand big banana island where Tiwa Savage they stay. Cut your coat according to your size. Like seriously. Anyway, guys, make una drop una comment too so, because as it is now, my people, hey, hey, hey. Sophia Momodu don't silent for some hours now. It be like say they don't give her bass boots. She don't see and see or more. People are not even in her side. People know they support her at all. For the fact that David just lost his son, he fine. And few months later, Sophia Momodu they rant for social media. Over child support, it really don't make sense at all. Davido owes you nothing rather than taking care of his child. Period. No this and no peace. Guys, drop your comments. This is Lebas TV. God bless you massively. Stay tuned for more updates. And always remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime I upload any latest updates like this, you will get notified and be the first to watch. Or more, not be smart, you know. Baby mama, not be professional, eh? Not be job at all. Make baby mamas wanna go find something they do. Better go and also for yourself. Make a name for yourself. You are not entitled to your baby daddy's money at all. You are not even his wife. You won't come to collect si si uh, child support like American celebrities. Hey, 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 now what? Anyway, guys, drop your comment at the comment section. A oh. hey, queen I stand, just like as Sandra Talk say, I support women. I'm a woman, but I don't support nonsense. Too much of everything is bad. I will see you all on my next upload. Um, one of the things that I really just had to say concerning this is because I get a lot of people that come up to me and say, Sharon, 
why do you even work? Why do you even... And I'm just thinking to myself, so... I went to school. I have a BSc. I have a master's degree and I have a brain. But I shouldn't do anything because my father is wealthy. You know, I went to school with British people primarily in my primary years. And I would go to school with high, you know, royal officials, kids. Um, I would go to school with, um, uh, what do you call it? Ambassadors, children, HRH children, um, millionaires and billionaires. And one thing was always common amongst all of them. They would never say they were rich. They were like, oh, I'm not rich. My father's rich. And honestly, I really adopted that mindset. And for me, I'm so happy that I did. And I'm so grateful because my dad spoils me to bits and I'm grateful. But I also understand that these are gifts. Do you understand? And I need to use these gifts well and manage my money well so that I too can provide for my children. You know, and I'm really happy that I'm an entrepreneur. I'm really happy that I don't work with my dad. Not that there's anything wrong with anyone working with their parents, but I just want the freedom to know that I can actually do it and I can push myself. I just feel like this, especially in Nigeria, I noticed my dad's rich, so I'm rich. If you don't know how they're making the money, if you're not actively in the business, I feel like it's very dangerous for you to develop that mindset. So when I come to you with all humility is because I have no choice but to be humble. Do you kind of get what I'm saying? I'm not raking in millions. I'm managing myself according to what I'm able to make for now. So I hope other people do the same, basically.